Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it feels like it's been such a long time since I was on the main channel. But we've got some really big news, some interesting data to have a look at when it comes to XRP. But there is some sizable news that we need to cover off you know my thoughts my opinions on the market at the moment is that we're going into the final leg of the bear market probably the um, toughest part of the bear market where we're going to lose up to 99 percent of everybody that is in crypto right now leaving just one percent future successful people are you going to be part of that one percent uh, you know, let me know in the comments below, are you going to be hard enough to, to get through what could be a very boring sideways moving market? Um, you know, perhaps even to the downside, you know, coupled with, you know, the economic uh, landscape where, you know, people are likely to start losing their homes, right? And, uh, you know, inflation and uh, interest rates uh, are going to be, you know, really catching up with people that are about to come off their fixed term mortgages. So there's an awful lot to be worried and concerned about over the next five to eight months. Uh, and I'm not trying to scare anybody here. I'm trying to really, like, establish you know, the, you know, people need to be conscious that this is going to be a real challenging five to eight months now, uh, and a, a fantastic opportunity to be accumulating cryptocurrency. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments on all of that stuff. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, give us a follow on Twitter. We've just set up a new uh, TikTok account that's going to be uh, revamped and, and restarted, uh, Cheeky Crypto official so go check that out on tiktok right let's get down to the desktop so we're going to start with a bit of a market update so we've got uh, the total market cap globally of crypto up 0.13 percent at the time of recording at 1.04 trillion dollars and bitcoin uh, just below 25,700 at 25684 53 down 6.19% in the last seven days, so the last week. But let's get on to, to XRP. XRP currently uh, above 50 cent at 50 cent 11, uh, down 5.44% at the time of recording. But you know, things are looking pretty healthy when it comes to XRP. We've got wallets increasing 29.15% uh, in the last year uh, these are wallets that hold over 1000 xrp on the increase same with uh, wallets with over 10000 xrp also up uh, in the last year by 32.34% but it gets bigger and wilder uh, up 17.18% in the last year for wallets with over 100000 xrp but to top it all off, wallets with over 1 million XRP is also up 12% in the last one year. So what does this actually tell us? Well, this tells us that, you know, uh, retail investors are, are getting involved in XRP. Institutions are also getting involved in XRP. This is about the only cryptocurrency that I see these sorts of metrics for. There are a few others that, you know, uh, are on the increase, but you're normally seeing uh, whales looking to get out, not get in. So, you know, this coupled with maybe Cardano uh, are the two projects where I'm mainly seeing this. So interesting stats to, to talk about. And I think, you know, we should be talking about them. I think it's it's a, a good well, it's good practice to be talking about some of the really good you know statistics that we should be monitoring. And I think wallets are one of those metrics. And you can see that at CheekyCrypto.io. There's a seven day free trial. Go check it out and uh, the links are in the description and in the bio of Twitter. So look, the other metrics that are looking uh, rather interesting and that we should be keeping an eye on is these two, right? So we've got uh, one of the key players in the crypto market continues to spark interest and, you know, I guess curiosity among investors and blockchain enthusiasts alike. 
let's explore some of the numbers, market statistics and other important metrics to provide a comprehensive snapshot of Ripple's performance and potential. So according to data from the XRP's ledger, the 30-day average active addresses stands at 497.13 thousand, making a, or marking I should say, a slight 0.1% decrease in the past 24 hours. Despite this drop, the 60-day average active users uh, or, or active addresses, I should say, stands at 719.47 thousand, with all maintaining activity in the previous 24 hours hours a broader look at the 90-day average of active addresses shows the figure at 1.37 million um, addresses which uh, has experienced a 0.03 reduction in the past 24 hours the total number of xrpl assets issued so far has reached 2629 as of the 6th of september and data also shows the daily net amount of xrpl trust lines created at 1026 as of the 6th of september with approximately um 35,500 transactions indicating a busy and lively um, network and community so i think this is really important to, to be aware of this coupled with the fact that we're seeing increases uh, for you know the the number of whales the number of retail uh, investors increasing their positions in xrp i think this stuff is really important to be you know keeping an eye on so let's you know monitor the situation but things are looking pretty positive for xrpl um and uh ripple and xrp so you know pretty good stuff we got binance will delist these cryptocurrencies starting the 8th of september so i thought this was really important to to highlight uh for you here and uh we got ogn against the the busd omg against the bs uh busd uh p a uh, p l a uh, against the the uh, binance usd and then we got p o l s against um you know b usd rei against uh, busd rsr against uh, busd uh, scrt against busd tvk against busd and lastly ada uh, slash b i d r matic uh, against b i d r utk against uh, busd and zeal against uh, b i d r so you know we need to be aware of these i will drop this in the discord for people to to be monitoring and keeping an eye on we got fd usd stable coin market cap grew 51 percent to 394 million in the last 30 days uh, the first digital USD stablecoin saw the 51% increase in the market capitalization over the last 30 days. Um, you know, most of the, the holdings are located in Binance, according to, to data that we have been looking at. We got Binance uh, crushes OKX uh, Bybit with over 200% more crypto derivatives volume. In the past 24 hour futures trading volume has been over $21 billion. Uh, Binance also dominates the pack of other platforms in terms of open interest or OI. And then the final thing, Coinbase launches crypto lending platform for US institutions. This is basically the same service as uh, Crypto Borrow. It even uses the uh, same entity, um, you know, but you know, obviously the, the Coinbase Borrow was halted um you know back in may uh, because of everything that happened with the sec so these are the biggest uh, pieces of news in the crypto space the stuff that i think are really important to be monitoring and keeping an eye on let me know your thoughts your opinions in the comments below if you enjoyed this sort of content mash up that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tap in that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and you know what nick or jb or someone will catch you in the next one